Here with reaction, South Carolina Senator, he's not one of the 11, Lindsey Graham. Senator, you had some strong words for Mitch McConnell and your fellow Republicans. Why on earth would Republicans at this moment be helping the Democrats? Well, we screwed up. Uh, for two months, we promised our base and the American people that we would not help the Democratic Party raise the debt ceiling so they could spend three and a half to five trillion dollars through the reconciliation. At the end of the day, uh, we blinked. Two things have happened. We've let our people down and we've made the Democrats believe we're all talk and no action. Uh, at the end of the day, every Republican voted against raising the debt ceiling. Every Democratic uh, senator voted for it, but we had a process in place. We made a promise for two months that we would make them do it without our help, and we folded. And I hate that. Uh, we're in a hole. We got to dig out of this hole, and we can. We shot ourselves in the foot tonight, but we'll revisit this issue in December. This issue comes back again in well, December. Wait, 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 but but slow message. down, Senator. I don't want to talk about December. Party does Hang on a again. second. For two yeah, months, yeah, okay. the Republican caucus in the Senate, you were right. all united. You were united right. until the day before yesterday. You were united. Literally. I mean, you think about it. Today's Thursday. You were united on Tuesday. You weren't going to do this. Yes. Why did Mitch McConnell do this and then twist the arms of and We'll put up the names of the, the 11 Republicans that caved. You know, why at the last minute did Mitch McConnell do what he said he wouldn't do? Here's what he said. And, and I like Mitch. I like all my colleagues. We're in a bad spot, but was self-inflicted. He said that if we continue to do what we promised to do, there's a threat from the Democrats. They will change the filibuster rule and blow up the Senate. We cannot live that way. Uh, when President Trump was in power, he asked us to change the rules every day, uh, wanting us to get our way, and I said no. So I have no sympathy for the Democratic Party threatening to use the filibuster to implement their socialist agenda. At the end of the day, we cannot be extorted and live this way. We should have stood our ground and played this out. I don't believe they would have blown up the Senate over this. We gave them a path to raise the debt ceiling through well, reconciliation. Well, Senator, hang on we just a second. didn't want our fingerprints on it. Joe Manchin said today again that he wouldn't use the nuclear option. Yeah. So yeah. that, uh, if yes. it was a threat, it was an idle threat that wouldn't have manifested, <laughs> or, you know, assuming that Joe Manchin yeah. was a man of his word. Okay, so that, you know, and, and does that mean the Republicans, all the Democrats have to do is say, we're going to use the nuclear option. Well, we're going to be a hostage to the, to the threat of the use yeah. of the nuclear option and then give up on core values and promises? That's, the, that's what we may have set in place. We, had made, we may have made ourselves susceptible to this tactic in the future. Joe Manchin and Sinema have been great. I really do believe changing at the last minute, using the excuse of changing the filibuster, has made us less effective in the body. The Democrats are going to look at us differently. And the people that we represent are incredibly disappointed. And there was no reason to do this. Don't say things that you can't deliver on. We could have delivered on this. We chose not to. This is coming up again in December. And if we do this again in December, we will shoot ourselves in the head as a party. And I will do everything in my power to make sure we do not do this again in December. Senator, it's a um, pretty sad, pathetic day. And... You know, this is the Republican Party pre-Trump. You know, the Republican Party in many ways created Donald Trump. People like Mitch McConnell created Donald Trump because a lot of swamp creatures did exactly this kind of garbage and didn't fight, didn't keep their word. And Republicans said, you know what, we need a disruptor, we need an iconoclast and somebody that's going to really keep their word and fight for us. That's why Donald Trump get, will get 50,000 people at a rally and Mitch McConnell will get five. The big difference. It's sad. A sad day for the Republican Party. And that's why I'm not a Republican. Senator Graham, thank you.